All right. Now we are going to flesh a coyote. Uh, much like the bobcats, the goal on these is just to get the fat off of them. You don't have to get this real thin membrane. You just want to get the high places, the big pieces of meat. Uh, most of the fat on a coyote is going to be right on its belly. And you want to, as I said, just knock the high places off of it. And a little bit over here on the sides where the front of his back legs would be. Some have more fat, some don't have as much fat. Either way, just want to knock it off. And that's really your primary goal on coyotes. Foxes are going to be done the exact same way. You will skin them, case skinned, which means you're just getting them out like a sock. Start at the ankle and go straight up the hair pattern that's on the back of the back legs to the anus. Same thing on the other side, and then go down the tail, and then you'll want to pull the skin on its belly on the inside of its legs in as you do it, and then cut it and leave as much there as you can. Now, unlike a bobcat, coyotes and foxes aren't graded by their bellies, but you still want to do it about the same way. around the front leg. The meat up here gets a little thicker so we're going to knock that off. But this really fine saddle right here on your back, you don't have to mess with that. You can just leave it on there. It won't hurt a thing. In fact, it'll actually help you a little bit because it'll keep the hair on this thing's back a little fuller. Alright, spin him around here. We'll get up here in between his legs. Almost always a little bit of fat in that area. And that's it. That's all you gotta do on a coyote. They're pretty pretty quick and easy. Exact same thing for a fox. And now we're gonna show you how to put it on a stretcher. Okay, we've got our coyote, and we're going to put this one on a wire stretcher. This isn't the biggest coyote in the world, but uh, what we're going to do here is we'll get him, stand him up here. Good and straight. Then we'll take the first one, a little bit down the tail, push it through and pull. And that one's in. And we'll go over here to the back side. Put part of the foot on the outer one, the other foot on the other side. Again, we're going to pull down. Then what we're going to do is 
there's just two clothesline pins. We'll put those down here to make sure that it stays good and dry, or stays good and tight down here on this end. But uh, that's all there is to putting the coyote on the board. Now this one has the lip left on it. We don't need that, so we're going to go up here. We're going to cut this lip off. And, you know, excuse me, I'm going to step right over here for a second. You heard me mention about the borax on the other one. They're on the bobcat. You'll just take you a little bit of borax and put it right here around the legs. Borax can be found at just about every single grocery store. It's usually in the aisle. That has the laundry detergent in it because that's exactly what it is. It's a laundry detergent additive. Rub some up on the head here. Get and we are good to go. Tomorrow we will come back and turn this. We probably won't film that part, but we're going to turn it out just like we would a bobcat. So that's all there is to doing the coyotes. And we're going to move on to the next animal. Remember, foxes are the exact same way. They're both canines. So whatever I've done on this, you want to do the same thing on a fox.